Yeah. Got any show for y'all. Got a damn good show, Keith. Got a damn good show. Yeah. Now, y'all been seeing all the videos of the Negroes running wild across this country, <laughs> robbing people, stealing these. They call them flash mobs. You should call it flash Negroing. Yeah, I was going to start a reality show, man. Call it um, Negroes Gone Wild. You know? It's catchy, man. Think about it. You remember Girls Gone Wild? Yeah. Now, follow me on this. Girls Gone Wild meets Negroes Gone Wild. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me on this now. You first you start with Los Angeles. Niggas, I mean, uh, Negroes gone wild. <laughs> Negroes gone wild, Los Angeles. Then when that's a hit, then you go to Chicago. Negroes gone wild in Chicago. Yeah. You keep it going. Negroes gone wild. Yeah. Ne Negroes gone wild, Atlanta, Georgia. Right. But look, I, I came across this video. How about about 10 series of them? All of them going platinum. All right. So what we talking about today, these Negroes ran in this uh, store fitting a rob a good white man. <laughs> and that white man said, you know what? I'm taking my country back. <laughs> this is what happened. Yeah. Check it out. Things can happen. Robbers storm a consignment shop in Pleasant Hill, and they get more than they bargained for because a worker was armed and ready to act. Our crime reporter, Henry Lee, live now at the Pleasant Hill Police Department with the details. Right Henry. Now. That's a patriot. Yeah, these guys Daddy probably missed. didn't expect to stare mm -hmm. down the barrel of a gun after they invaded this consignment shop. They were back outside in less than 30 seconds. I show him my gun, and I told him to stop it. I have a gun. Hey, hey. This is the moment a group of would-be robbers came face to face with 70 dumb Negroes falling all over the place. 38 caliber revolver. They ran because they saw my gun and I was, you know, serious about it. They panic and they run out. It happened Monday afternoon at Estates Consignments on Contra Costa Boulevard in Pleasant Hill, which sells jewelry, rings, and watches. Surveillance video shows this woman walking through the store. Marcou says she was a scout, scoping out all the security cameras while on the phone with the young men. Here you see the woman walking out and stalling, trying to keep the security guard from shutting the door to let her friends in. But they force the door open and bum rush their way inside. One guy's carrying a sledgehammer. After he said, what, the Negroes screen, are coming. Let me Mark get the gun. Cool his way to the, jewelry <laughs> the Negroes is coming. Intruders. <laughs> Mark Kuhl then pulls out his gun. The group scatters out of the shop the and climb into two Infinity Q50s, one white, the other black. But almost immediately, a Pleasant Hill police cruiser pulls up right behind them. Yeah. I've learned that's because the white Infinity is stolen and triggered a license plate reader alert. Despite the quick police response, Negroes. those Infinities took off and the intruders escaped. Mark Kuhl says perhaps with their lives. If they fail in my life or my life of the employees, I would use the gun, 100%. He says he keeps his revolver on him inside the store because of recent similar incidents. Yeah, people say you shouldn't have a, you don't need a gun to protect yourself or anything. Then the cops get there and they get away from the cops. Hmm. That's a patriot right there, man. All right, but anyway, um, you see how much time and effort went to this robbery attempt? They send the scout in. Yeah. Check out where, you know, where the cameras, where all the good stuff at. Yeah. Then she walking off slow out because they figure out what she was doing. Yeah. Right? This is, hey, you, you, uh, ma'am. Nah, didn't go down like that. Hmm, I ain't seen a Negro in this store in 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> Something's up with this, fellas. There's a Negro in this store. <laughs> you, I, well, whatever. However it went down. That's what happened. Yeah, that's what we're down. So there's, there's, there's probably kick it out of the store because they've seen this before. And then she's like trying to, so they can keep the door open. They was trying to lock the door, but they got in because you know niggas are fast. You know, you look at the NBA football, they quit. <laughs> you see how quick they got in there? Genetics. What are they young? No, they got, I heard they got, Negroes got high calves and big butts. Built for speed, huh? Mm-hmm. Why them Negroes so fast? I mean, Negroes. Damn it. You said Negroes. I said what? Negroes. <laughs> you sound like you whiting from Georgia. <laughs> Where them Negroes go? Let me just talk about the story. Yeah, let's. I think it's, man, I love saying stuff like this. Some, 
Some, you know, the bad guy always gets away and wins. Well, it's great wait, to see a good guy. No, the bad guy's got away. No, that, that dude damn near popped their hearts in their chest. You see them falling all over the place, scared? <laughs> That's not. No, man. They need to get caught. They need to go to jail. I know. Do some time. The cops die and everything, and he still get away. Yeah. You're a cop. But you know what? This is in California. They have a policy. Um, a lot of times if the, the, um, the uh, high-speed case gets... Uh, Get too dangerous, mm -hmm. yeah. Let them go. So that's too dangerous. Yes, too, yes, too dangerous. Let them Negroes go. We know who they are. Well, we don't know who they are. We just gonna let it's them go. Stolen. They're gonna just yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. Well, that's, that's you'll be surprised how many cops don't do their job. I used to see it all the time when I used to uh, rest shoplifters. Cops would just come in and write a ticket and just let them go. Yeah. I said, but he ain't got no ID. He's Mexican. He's obviously lying. That's not his name. His name is not Jose Escobar. Well, my hands are tied, fellas. Yeah, jails are full. No, man, you just lazy. No, I mean, man, I think if you do your job as a cop on certain demographics of people, you got to give them a pass, especially if you're legal, black. You got to give them the benefit of the doubt. Well, if that's if the they case. they go out of that way and actually do the job, they put their, they put their career at risk. If I'm white and I got, I got little, little, little white kids at home and got a pretty wife, I'm not going to rock the boat, man. I'm going to take care of my family. Yeah. Man, you're a cop. You're supposed to be a patriot. Yeah, he's supposed to. Not you're supposed to be like that white man in that grocery store. You're supposed to be a damn patriot. Yeah, he's a patriot. We need cops like him on the street. I wish you would have got him. Just going to see him in cuffs. Yeah. Crying. Just looking. It'd be, it was it, five Negroes? It'd be five less Negroes we have to worry about. No, I'm sorry. I shouldn't say that. They, they, I took it too far on that one. No, they went in with a sledgehammer. No, man. I what does a Negro get a sledgehammer? Bet you stole that. Show's over. I'm tired of talking I about Negroes. I wish you would have been with that one of their aunts. <laughs> Maybe a sister from this, like, Fifth dad. You get it? Half sister? Yeah. I get mama it. mama. That was a good one. Five dudes. Yeah. And it's one of their sisters. Yeah, that's good. They probably all brothers, right? But they all got different daddies. Yeah. That's where that term baby daddy came from. It's okay to be a Brady Bunch, but see, I like the Brady Bunch, the TV show that say big family. Yeah. Part kids. The, the wife, the woman has a couple kids. Father. Couple brings kids. Couple kids. See? Make Brady Bunch. Not the Negro. The Negro? This, the Negro, the Negro woman. This is the Tyrone bunch. <laughs> <laughs> woman got f ten kids, nine baby daddies. <laughs> and and the only reason why she got nine baby daddies, two of them twins. <laughs> get it? Get it? Yeah, I get it. Wait a minute, my math's wrong. Show's over. <laughs> show's over, kid. Right? You get it? Seven baby daddies. Baby uh, show's Wait over. Wait a minute. Eight baby daddies. No, it's not baby daddies. You get it? Hey, we got a new giveaway you going. Get, it, right? hey, get the fuck off me. <laughs> that baby daddy. It's over. But the show is over. My math is right, right? My math is right. <laughs> you fuck, <laughs> camera. <laughs>